Hey, what is up guys, it's Arnik and welcome to today's video. Another pack week, another short video. This time we talk about encoding presets to be used in Adobe Media Encoder. I know this is probably second nature to most of you, but for all of you it is not. This video is for you, so let's go straight in. With your After Effects composition or Premiere sequence of choice ready to export on the right, you could go about and dive into all of these settings manually every time, but we all know what kind of a shitty job and time-consuming task that is, especially when you have multiple projects which all need the same export settings. And that's what we have presets for. Now, you will notice my media encoder is set to German for some mysterious reason, even after installing the encoder only in English, but never mind, that doesn't affect us today at all. To create a new preset, simply hit this plus icon over here and choose the upper option, which probably says something along those lines like create encoding preset, I guess, or something similar. I'm sure you're gonna figure out which one it is. In the pop-up, you now can adjust all these settings you want your preset to have. Based on those settings, you should give the preset a name that is easily recognizable for you later on. Me, for example, I have a preset for the layout files for approval and review cycles with my clients, another master version for the final output, one for anything that needs an alpha channel for later use, and so on and so forth. As I described in last week's video, you can publish your videos directly from Premiere Pro to YouTube, Vimeo, etc. Now that obviously does also work as a preset. There you can save a default description, a few tags that you include in almost all of your videos and all sorts of things. If you're managing multiple YouTube channels, for example, you can simply create separate presets for every channel. And let me tell you, this is a real time saver when it comes to exporting your videos in different formats. Most of the time you're gonna use just a handful of those presets, but all the better to have those ready and accessible. All you need to do is to drag and drop the preset onto the project you wish to export in your render queue. Click that green play button in the upper right corner and your video is processed in the background. While this is happening, you are still able to work on this specific project and don't have to worry about the render at all. That is why rendering via the media encoder is a very important tool for your client projects. If they want or need to see an updated version of the current project, simply export it while you keep working on it. Well, and there you have it. I hope this quick tip was helpful to you. If you want to know how to set up the direct publishing to YouTube and all the other platforms, simply head over here and watch my video on that topic. If you enjoyed this video, don't feel... Don't feel what? Feel free to smash that like button, subscribe if you aren't already, and ring that bell to step by step up your filmmaking and animation game with every video. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!